Hello, I'm the Zombie J, and that the battery in my camcorder just kind of went. It looks like it went by so fast. <laughs> this thing takes. <laughs> I still got two mocks to review. Well, we're reviewing one of those mocks, and if I have to review the other one while the camcorder is plugged in, whoop de fuck do. So this is a Legends of Chima mock, actually, because I took Cragger, Chi Cragger and reconfigured him. I had to steal his uh, upper torso, um, it, well, just, just, just the tallest torso uh, bone piece, in order to build Betrayer, obviously. Um, if you haven't seen this mock yet, well, here he is. Go watch the uh, review, which I just got done recording. So, I added some interesting elements to Cragger. I did replace his torso with the um, with the standard torso armor or torso bone piece, and well now he's a little less imposing, but he's still pretty fucking uh, well. Yeah, he's not Cragger anymore. He is the Lizard Man. The Lizard Man, named after a supposed character that just doesn't even exist. Uh, in uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie, one of my favorite, in fact, my favorite cartoon of all time growing up, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I have the complete uh, series box set, except for the movie. Damn it. Um, got that for my birthday last year, I think. Um, I need to get the movie. Is Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show on DVD? Let me know in the comment section below, because I can't find it. And again, I haven't looked balls deep into it, so, but hey, whatever. <clears throat> so here's the Lizard Man. I decided to take this name and create a character out of it. I've done this before, actually, with Cragger. But this, I feel, is my definitive edition of Cragger. Or, sorry, she... <sighs> um... The Lizard Man. So, obviously, he's got this big staff weapon, which, you know, the head is nothing too exciting. It's just the three blade pieces put together, obviously, with this red one in the middle and these gunmetal ones off the side. What the f- That was not supposed to happen. Well, now I have to fix that. There we go. Well, whatever. His staff definitely has a lot of parts on it. Um... A lot of bushings, a lot of half bushings, and even a ball joint. Um, these uh, these pieces as well, which you know I've had a few of these, couple of them actually. Chains, obviously, and a half half bushing there. Uh, this chain actually has this little vine piece on it, which is actually a paraca spine minifig paraca spine. Why? I don't know why I put it there. Probably because I don't know lizard <laughs> lizard. Uh, he does have the same head, he does have the same torso armor and chest armor, obviously with the chi orb blackened out with Sharpie. I did that a long ago, I don't remember when. Upper legs are the same, the lower legs right here, the chicken leg design is uh, the same, feet are the same, arms are the same. Um, I did add this uh, second, you know, joint area thing, so... He's basically got this chicken leg thing going on or whatever. Or, um, I don't know, there's some depictions of Satan that have this design. And it's pretty kind of, kind of um, interesting. Uh, the torso, uh, obviously, you know, we have these armor shells. I did take one of these barbs from over on this shell and put it on there, because why not? Um, obviously, he has a... He's pretty thick, too. He's got... Um, a layer, thick layer of torso armor, so good luck trying to, I don't know, kick this guy's ass. He's gonna kick your ass. Oh, then I'll eat you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mutant lizard man of some sort. Uh, he does have these uh, shadow trap pieces, which are connected to the ball joint uh, sockets, which also have these little technical pieces um, and those are connected to his basically his uh, neck region his thick neck region right there uh, there's still gap in there but I could only do so much so uh, so this kind of looks 
pretty cool actually. I like the look of this. Obviously articulation is the same otherwise. Obviously with his head moving down up and right and everywhere. Arms, you know. Um, oh and his tail. I did extend his tail a little bit just by one. And yeah, could have extended it by two but I didn't feel like it. I was tired. I need to go to bed so <laughs> Obviously, the articulation of the legs is extra, so he can do this. You know, he has a lot of force to uh, kick you to the curb, which, you know, uh, it's a thing. So, still is able to move. He's not able to uh, uh, two hand this weapon, instead, it's just one hand. He commands an army of li of mutated lizards. He is a mutated lizard, and he decides to create his own mutagen, which, um, with chemicals and whatnot, decides to build his own army of mutant lizards. So, yeah, story-wise, this guy is pretty mean and pretty nasty, and he's gonna eat you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the lizard man. It's pretty fucking gnarly. Um, what do you think? Post in the comment section below. If you want to build this yourself, you could probably do it better than me. But <laughs> hey, the lizard man, uh, well, having an interesting origin for the name at least. Um, it's still a nice little alternate build of uh, Cragger, you know, uh, Chi Cragger. And um, I like it. Also, there is a faded sharp feel, almost like a dry brush type of thing on this, the crest of his head right there. And um, yeah, there you go. So I hope you all enjoy this here mock review. Sorry, this one is shorter than usual, but hey, there's not really much else I can say about this thing other than build it yourself and you might enjoy it. You might not. If you don't, whatever. I do, because... He just looks cool. I'm gonna put him right up there so his tail doesn't get in the fucking way. Good. Okay. <sighs> One more mock review and then I'm done for today. So stay tuned for more videos. I am the Zombie J. I'll see you folks. Have a good fucking day and peace.